The FAA is scheduling emergency runway safety meetings at dozens of airports across the country, and that includes St. Cloud Regional Airport. The mandatory meetings come as flights across the country are seeing a surge in close calls. Fox's Kaylee Schuyler joins us now from Bradley International Airport in Windsor Locks, Connecticut, with more on this. Kaylee. Randy and Kelsey, that 90 airports nationwide, including here at Bradley International, have to have a runway emergency meeting by the end of September. This is because airlines have seen an increase in near collisions both in the air and on the tarmac. The New York Times reported 46 close calls just last month, and the FAA says that there were nearly 1,700 close calls last year. So these meetings are being held to increase safety. Some of the locations include Reno Tahoe International, Dallas Fort Worth International, Washington's Ronald Reagan, and New York's LaGuardia. The FAA says 60% of close calls are because of pilots rerouting or making a wrong turn. 20% are miscommunications between staff, and another 20% are vehicle or pedestrian interference. The FAA says a couple of big factors are staffing shortages and long hours, but added that 1,500 controllers have been hired this year. The failure rate of trainees is very, very high. So they might hire 1,800 in a year. And if they're lucky, maybe they'll get 500 usable people that will actually get through the training because the training lasts for years in a, in a busy, uh, busy location. The emergency meetings taking place over the next month will identify the unique factors at each airport and identify how to lower the risk of close calls. In Windsor Locks, Connecticut, Kaylee Schuyler, Fox 9. All right, thanks, Kaylee.